A gentleman decided to treat a few children in the following manner. He gives half of his total stock of toffees and one extra to the first child and then half of the remaining stock along with one extra to the second and continues giving away in this fashion. His total stock exhausts after he takes care of five children. How many toffees were there in a stock? In a Lovely. Let's assume he starts with n. Then he gives away n by 2 plus 1. Or what will he have? He will have n by 2 minus 1. And then of this, he gives away half plus 1. Half of n by 2 minus 1 plus 1 he gives away. Or half of n by 2 minus 1 minus 1 he will retain. Straight away we can sense there will be an n by 4 term sitting here. And then there will be an n by 8, n by 8 minus 1 by 4, something like that. Right? So n by 16, that becomes complicated. Right? These kind of questions, one very simple rule. Don't start from the first child till the end. Start from right to left. Right? What am I going to do? We know that the last child gets half plus one extra. And at that time, he runs out. And I'm going to think about the fifth kid. Think about what does he have with him when he goes to the fifth kid. He gives away half plus one. So before he gives away the last one, he's given away half of what he had. That means that half of what he had should be equal to this one. Or when he goes to the fifth kid, he should have had two. Half of two is one, plus one is two, he goes to zero. So when he goes to the fifth kid, he has two chocolates with him. Now let's go one more step back. He's given a half of what he had and one more, after which he's left with two. So before giving that one more, he should have had three. That is half of what he had. Or before he goes to the fourth kid, he should have had six chocolates. Half of six is three, plus one is four. He gives away four, he has two remaining. Now we know the mechanism. Two plus one into three. Zero plus one into two. Six plus one into three. That is 14. Sorry, into two. Six plus one, seven into two. Half of what he had, plus one. So minus one, so we are doing it the other way around. To six, add one, seven. Into two is 14. To 14 add 1, into 2 is 30. To 30 add 1, into 2 is 62. He has 62 to begin with. He gives away 32 for the first kid. He has 30 remaining. He gives away 16 for the second kid, has 14 remaining. Gives away 8, has 6 remaining. Gives away 4, has 2 remaining. Gives away the 2. Or he should have started with 62 toffees. And so these questions, the kind of questions become very simple if you start from the last step backwards. He finally runs out of toffees after he has given to the fifth kid. So think about how much he had when he's going to the fifth kid and then just work backwards. Once you know the mechanics, it is plus one into two, plus one into two, plus one into two, and do any, any math after that.